How's it going, people? Yeah, it's been about a week since my last drinking vid. I'm going to be tapering off because I'm going out of state to visit my dad in Minnesota. And um, I think I'd rather have fun and, than read this book. <laughs> Besides, I don't know what he'd think of that. <laughs> I'm still playing this soundtrack. Uh, few more tracks left. Yeah, if I go long, I'll just start it over. And uh, almost out of Old Forester. If I run out, I got some more Kentuck. Got some more Kentucky Sour Mash. Yeah. Right, we do start with a drink. Uh, let's read the masthead of uh, chapter 31 of Alma. Alma heads a mission to reclaim the apostate Zoromites, the Ramiumptum, or Holy Stand, the Zoromite form of worship, which obviously involves this Ramiumptum. Verse 1. Now it came to pass. That after the end of Corihor, Alma, having received tidings that the Zoramites were perverting the ways of the Lord, and that Zoram, who was their leader, hence they're being called Zoramites followers of Zoram. And Zoram, who was our leader, was leading the hearts of the people to bow down to dumb idols instead of dumb books. Uh, his heart, Alma Jr.'s heart, again began to sicken because of the iniquity of the people. It made him sick. Because he's just so damn pure and good now. He didn't used to be. He used to be just like these folks, but he can't tolerate it now. Two. For it was the cause of great sorrow to Alma to know of iniquity among his people. Therefore, his heart was exceeding sorrowful because of the separation of the Zoramites from the Nephites. Three. Now, the Zoramites had gathered themselves together in a land which they called Antiotum. Wait, Antium? Antion? No. Antionum. Antionum. Yeah. <laughs> which was east of the land of Zarahimla which lay near, nearly bordering upon the seashore, which was south of the land of Jershom, which also bordered upon the wilderness south, which wilderness was full of the Lamanites. For now the Nephites greatly feared that the Zoramites would enter into a correspondence with the Lamanites, and that it would be the means of great loss on the part of the Nephites. Five. And now, as the preaching of the word had a great tendency to lead the people to do that which was just, just what you want, <laughs> yea, it had had more powerful effect upon the minds of the people than the sword, which is just scary, you know. I mean, what can you do? Name or murder, you know, that's about it with sword. But an idea? Yeah. You can just own their ass. Make them follow you. And sword or anything else which had happened unto them. 
Therefore, Alma thought it was expedient that they should try the virtue of the Word of God. <sighs> 6. Therefore, he took Ammon and Aaron and Omner, and him nigh he did leave in the church in Zarahimla, but the former three he took with him. And also Amulek and Zeezrom, who were at Melek. And he also took two of his sons. Now, the eldest of his sons, he took not with him. Sounds old at least. He took it, he took not with him. For his name was Helaman, and he writes the next big book after uh, Alma. But the names of those whom he took with him were Sheblon and Corianton. And these are the names of those who went with him among the Zoramites to preach unto them the word. Eight. Now the Zoramites were dissenters from the Nephites. Therefore, they had had the word of God preached unto them. So they've heard it before. I know how they feel. I think we all do. Yeah, they all act like none of us have heard of Jesus. And we need to hear him tell us about it. You know, I can't even remember the first time I heard of Jesus because I was hearing about him long before I understood language. Yeah. Uh. Nine. But they had fallen into great errors, for they would not observe the commandments of God and His statutes. According to the law of Moses. You still gotta follow that shit. JC hasn't arrived yet. Uh. Ten. Neither would they observe the performances of the church to continue in prayer and supplication to God daily. Daily. Talk about needy. <laughs> and they might not that they might not enter into temptation they got to pray daily for that shit because they might enter into temptation in between prayers it's like brushing your teeth you might get a cavity in your soul <sighs> 11 yay in fine they did pervert the ways of the Lord in very many instances let's hear about it therefore for this cause Alma and his brethren went into the land and preached the word unto them twelve now when they had come into the land behold to their astonishment they found that the Zoramites had built synagogues and were and that they were wait, and that they did gather themselves together on one day of the week probably the wrong day though <laughs> which day they did call the day of the Lord okay well we got Sunday the day of the sun god <laughs> uh, and they did worship after a manner which Alma and his brethren had never beheld. This ought to be good. <laughs> it must be that Ramium to 13. For they had a place built up in the center of their synagogue, a place for standing which was high above the head, and the top thereof would only admit one person. So, talk about putting yourself on a pedestal. And everybody wore dresses back then. 
I guess, you know, you got to be having your head bowed anyway. So look at the ground. Uh, I wonder if this is unisex. It doesn't sound unisex or worship. It really doesn't. Uh, Fourteen. Therefore, when whosoever desired to worship must go forth and stand upon the top thereof and stretch forth his hands towards heaven and cry with a loud voice saying, this is what they all say, by the way, all those Zoramites, Holy, holy God, for we believe that thou art God, and we believe that thou art holy, and you're holy in error, right? <laughs> and that thou wast a spirit, and that thou art a spirit, and that thou wilt be a spirit forever. Sixteen. Holy God. We believe, I should have done a holy drinking contest, man, that's in a coma. <laughs> uh, we believe, holy God, we believe, that thou hast separated us from our brethren. Yeah, they're separated. Because a Nephi, Nephi and his clan stuck off in the middle of the night with the records because they were getting nervous. As they land on terra firma, on the promised land, start prophesying. I wonder who was doing all the plowing. Uh, <laughs> 16. This is still that prayer they said. And we do not believe in the tradition of our brethren, which was handed down to them by the childishness of their fathers. But we believe that thou hast elected us to be thy holy children, and also thou hast made it known unto us that there shall be no Christ. Wow. So they call up to the holy people, the holy people, the chosen ones, and they don't believe in JC. So they're like the Jews that they were harping about earlier on in this book. They don't like Jews either, even though they're Jewish. All these people are Jews. Everybody's Jewish. Everybody! Once, twice, or third time removed. Uh, through magic and inbreeding and all that shit. Uh, yeah, nerve of these people. Talking shit about the traditions of somebody's fathers. Doing... But thou art the same yesterday, today, and forever. Where have I heard that before? One of the prophets in the Bible. The one that was written on paper, parchment, and papyrus. <laughs> but not on gold. Alright. <laughs> I guess that makes it of lesser value. that thou hast elected us that we shall be saved whilst all around us are elected to be cast by thy wrath down to hell so only the Zoramites are going to go to heaven now should we call a timeout and get a referee <laughs> is, is that according to Hoyle <laughs> what are the rules in this game this sounds like a schoolyard game you know, the, yeah. Hey, you're not it. We're it. <laughs> you wish you were it. <sighs> so they've got hell. And they use it. So they're telling everybody. Who, <laughs> so the Zoramites have got hell. That's where the Nephites are going to go. <laughs> uh, this is and they have a concept of hell way before they should. <laughs> For the wait, for the witch holiness, O oh God, we thank thee, and we also thank thee that thou hast elected us, that we may not be led away 
after the foolish traditions of our brethren, which doth bind them down to the belief of Christ, uh, which doth lead their hearts to wander far from thee, our God. I guess Nehor must have come from this group, huh? <laughs> 18, I guess. Uh, not really, though. It's different. It's Cory Horror. Yeah, it's Cory Horror. After his shit. Not Nihor. No, wait. Cory Horror's the atheist. Nihor. Yeah, it's after. Yeah, the foolish traditions of our brother, which doth bind them down to a belief of Christ, which doth lead their hearts to wander far from thee, our God. Nineteen. Yeah. This is some heavy shit. This is. <laughs> oh, you thought I was talking about that book. <laughs> Nineteen. Now it came to pass. Oh, pure delight. It came, now it came to pass that after Alma and his brethren and his sons had heard these prayers, they were astonished beyond all measure. So it was even more than last time. You can't even measure how fucking astonished they were. I'd say well past alarmed. <laughs> Leaving distressed in the dust. <laughs> yeah, you can't measure their emotional turmoil right now. Or back then, I mean. <laughs> Twenty. For behold... I have to start the disc over. For behold, every man did go forth and offer up the same prayer as she's prayers as she said before. Yeah, thank God we're not the Nephites. And we're right. They're not. Neener neener. We win. <laughs> They're calling quitsies. <laughs> Uh, yeah, all right. They, that was all of 20. They said the same prayer as they said from, uh, what, 15, uh, to, down to, like, 17. Uh, they said that, all that shit again. And again. Now, the place was called by them Ramiotum. So they're using a native word and translating it into Reformed Egyptian. And then translate. I think I've gone over this a few times, but I mean, it's understandable when they do that in the Bible because of all the different languages. I mean, but these people came here in like three boats. And they were all Jewish. Alright. Anyway, Ramiumptum, which being interpreted, is the holy stand. 22. Now, from this stand, they did offer up every man self same prayer unto God. This is 22 now. Alright, we get it. You've hammered the point home. Every man self same prayer unto God. Thanking their God that they were chosen of Him and that He did not lead them away after the tradition of their brethren and that their hearts were not stolen away to believe in things to come which they knew nothing about. 23. Now, after the people had all offered up thanks after this matter, one at a time on a pedestal? How many people are we talking about? 
<laughs> I don't know if there's enough out crime today. They must hurry up, hurry up next. So we yeah, have pretty damn superficial frame here. I get your point. All right. But this is this even possible? I don't think so. <laughs> Twenty-three. Uh, yeah. Now, after the people had all offered up thanks, after this manner, they returned to their homes, never speaking of their God again, until they had assembled themselves together again to the Holy Stand. Because maybe they just can't stand it. But to offer up thanks after this, their manner, as earlier 24. Now, when Alma saw this, his heart was grieved. So he's not sick anymore. He's sick and dirty, remember? For he saw that they were a wicked and a perverse people. Yea, he saw that their hearts were set upon gold and upon silver and upon all manner of fine goods. 25. Yea. And he also saw that their hearts were lifted up in the great boasting in their pride. That sounds like your average church service, uh, especially at the end of the day. Sunday best. And then they gather up in little... Uh, little clicks and start gossiping their asses off. Yeah, I've seen it. And I've been in a lot of churches. I do it once in a while just to torture myself. I'm kind of thinking about checking out the Mormon church next door. Of course, if someone recognizes me, I might get lynched from the rafters. <laughs> I doubt it, though. I think my last video got a whopping three views. But, heck, one of them could have been, you know, Wrong one. Anyway. 26. And he lifted up his voice to heaven and cried, saying, This is Alma Jr. <laughs> oh, how long, O oh Lord, wilt thou suffer that thy servants shall dwell below in the flesh? To behold, such gross wickedness among the children of men. He'd rather be a, a Holy Ghost instead. You're a pussy, Alma Jr. and a hypocrite. And a prick. How can he be a prick and a pussy at the same time? He's a hermaphrodite. That's what you are, biatch. Not really. I'm just... Sorry, I've been in a bad mood. I hope it doesn't show. <laughs> 27. Behold, O God, they cry unto thee, and yet their hearts are swallowed up in their pride. Talking some shit there, Alma Jr. Now that you're all goody-goody, you've got your salvation special delivery. You didn't even ask for it. I mean, you are forced to get born again. Behold, O oh God, they cry unto thee with their mouths. While they are puffed up, even to greatness, with the vain things of the world, which is, you know, this place, you know, terra firma, the planet, yeah, third rock from the sun. <laughs> <sighs> Behold, oh my God, their costly apparel and their ringlets and their bracelets and their ornaments of gold and all their precious things which, with which they are ornamented with. And behold, their, their hearts are set upon them and, that, and yet they cry unto thee and say, We thank thee, O God, for uh, 
We are a chosen people under thee, while others so perish. Don't listen to him, Big G. How long has he been falling for this shit? Until Alma Jr. had to report, uh, you know, he flagged him down. <laughs> uh, 29. So God didn't notice. He needed Alma to report this. You know, stop listening to these guys' prayers. Because they're, they're a sassy bunch. They're not respectful enough. They, they need to work on their groveling. <laughs> 29. Yay! And they say that thou hast made it known unto them that there shall be no Christ. I think we've gone over this before, right? Christ just means anointed one, and there was a whole bunch. And if people were going through, like, the Greek Bible, the Old Testament, they'd be seeing the name, word Christ popping up quite a bit. It means anointed one, dickheads. They anointed priests, they anointed kings. I think they even anointed some prophets. I'm getting anointed right now. <laughs> the old fashioned the old forester way. <laughs> yeah, don't listen to them. They don't believe in your kid. They don't believe you're going to split up like an amoeba <laughs> and have an, a fleshy avatar on Earth. <laughs> 30. Oh, Lord God, how long wilt thou suffer that such wickedness and, iniquity, and iniquity shall be among this people. Quite a while, apparently. Thanks for snitching, Alma, you prick. He hadn't even noticed until you brought it up. You're a squealer. Frickin'. He needs his ass kicked. But you'd probably lose an arm. <laughs> oh, Lord, wilt thou give me strength? That I may bear with mine infirmities. For I am infirm. And such wickedness among these people doth pain my soul. Now that you're holier than now. You need to climb up that rammy umptum and ram it up your umptum. <laughs> Just suddenly kick your feet out and fall hard. Full grease at the head again. <sighs> Fucking Alba Jr. I thought I couldn't dislike anyone more than Nephi. I just found the guy. Alma Jr. Fuck you. <laughs> I'm glad you're fictional. <laughs> I hate a lot of fictional characters, by the way. <laughs> we all do. It's story time. 31. Oh Lord, my heart is exceeding sorrowful. Wilt thou comfort my soul in Christ? In a, about BC 74. Uh, oh Lord, wilt thou grant unto me that I may have strength, that I may Suffer with patience these afflictions. He's already crying and he hasn't even been smacked yet. Yeah, smoked. Sorry. <laughs> Have strength that I may suffer with patience these afflictions which shall come upon me. <laughs> because of the iniquity of this people. 32. O oh Lord, wilt thou comfort my soul and give unto me success? Ye have little faith, the arch. have no faith in himself. And also my fellow laborers who are with me, yea, Ammon and Aaron and Honored. You've got to tell them who's there. I guess we all do that, don't we? We know you, you really can't see or hear this. 
Because she's not there. Oh, and also Amulek and Zeusroth. And also my two sons, who were named earlier. Fuck them. Yay! Even all these wilt thou comfort, O oh Lord? We all need propping up. We're, this rubber crutch is starting to slip on us. Uh, even wilt thou comfort, O oh Lord? Yea, wilt thou comfort their souls in Christ? Yeah, put a little oil on them. 33. Wilt thou grant unto them that they may have strength, that they may bear their afflictions, which shall come upon them of the iniquities of this people? 34. O Lord, wilt thou grant unto us that we may have success in bringing again unto them again unto thee, O in Christ. He must think he's short on memory. <laughs> Thirty-five. Behold, O Lord, their souls are their souls are precious. And many of them are our brethren. Therefore give unto us, O Lord, power and wisdom, that we may bring these, our brethren, again unto thee. Why bother pour it? It was nice. Me like. Ah. That'll tighten up your pucker string. 36. Now, it came to pass that when Alma had said these words that he clapped his hands upon all of them who were with him, having said the magic incantation and repeated it enough times, he clapped his hands upon them and they were filled with the Holy Spirit. Their tanks were full. They had a tiger in their tank. Am I showing my age or what? 37. And after that, they did separate themselves one from another taking no thought for themselves. What they should eat, or what they should drink, or what they should put on. They didn't care what they put on. They're not thinking about shit. They're just going to go with the force. They're riding the wave. They were told, don't think about nothing. Just do it. I mean, sometimes there's a, that actually does work. You know, stop thinking about a problem for a while, distract yourself, and then you got the answer later. Happens all the time. I used to do that. But you got to think most of the time. I'm sorry. These guys aren't going to do it at all. Good thing they're fictional. 38. And the Lord provided that them that they should hunger not. I think even the Bible they say not hunger. They should hunger not. Neither should they thirst. Yay. And he also gave them no manner of afflictions. Save it were swallowed up in the joy of Christ. He sounds better than heroin. Now, this was according to the prayer of Alma, Jr. And this because he prayed in faith. And that's it for 31. And, uh, I gotta be tapering off on these pretty soon.
I don't drink between videos, by the way. Just I, honestly, I don't. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm taking my gold book to Minnesota or not. I got two. I might take a little one. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. It'll be there'll be a lot of people around during that time of year. I don't know if I want to do that. I could go out in a boat though, but I don't want to be drunk in a boat. I promise to vlog on a on a lake though. I'll do it at least once. Peace. The fuck. Oh, have a wonderful whatever the fuck it is. I want you to have a really good one. Better than my than my not so cool sign off. Bye.